Hi guys, hope everyone is doing fantastic and you're staying positive and staying well because this craziness that we're in, it will pass and it's Easter week. Easter is one of my favorite holidays. So we have a lot to be thankful for and blessed. So just try to focus on that and we will all get through this. So um, I just want to come on here real quick and piggyback off a post that I made a few days ago that talked about goal setting. So one of the things that I see on my intake form quite a bit is a whole array of goals, which is awesome. I'm talking just fitness for right now. And it's everything from, it'll be like run faster, get stronger, lose weight, improve my overhead press, and decrease like shoulder pain. Okay, so it'll be something like that, which are all awesome goals, but none of them are specific. So when you start setting goals, you want first off to pick like one or two for right now because you don't want to set yourself up to crash and burn, right? So out of the fitness category, you want to pick like one or two goals. I'd say just one really to kind of focus because once you break down that one, you can get really specific about that goal. And there's probably 10,000 things that you need to do in order just to achieve that one goal if you get super specific about it. Um, and then from there, you can start working towards your other goals once you achieve that. Or you can dabble into some of your other goals that aren't in the fitness goal setting category like financial or um, relationships or whatever other goals that you have set. Um, so say for instance, you're kind of having a hard time setting a specific goal. Start out, <coughs> excuse me, start out with a broad goal and then work backwards if you need to. So for example, my goal, because I need to actually set a goal for, for myself. I'm eight months postpartum and I'm helping everyone else, yet I'm not really helping myself. Is that kind of how that goes, right? So that's my goal, move better. So I am eight months postpartum and my goal is not to get my body back because listen, I delivered a baby, I carried a baby and delivered a baby naturally drug-free my body will never be the same and that's a good thing because I'm stronger I'm more resilient like I feel really good any mom out there regardless of how you brought your baby into the world you're amazing and incredible and don't focus on getting your body back like no no mm -mm. um so yeah where was I going with that anyway oh yeah so my goal is not weight loss right now and it's not like trying to get my body back or trying to like, I don't know, get better X, Y, Z, fill in the blank. My goal is to move better because I've neglected this hardcore over the years. I've pushed through powerlifting training with so many dang injuries and triathlons with injuries and all kind of dumb shit. Um, when I was doing boxing, I got kicked in the head pretty good think that contributed to my neck pain besides my car accident. So there's just a lot of things I've been neglecting. So my goal is to move better. I want to move better because I want to be able to play with my baby when she gets older and like not have any pain and like go on the playground and do the monkey bars and not like have neck stuff going on, right? Um, so I started out, that's a very broad goal, like move better, like that's not specific. That's not, I can't measure that, right? Um, so from there, I broke it down. And I, I'm so old school. I write everything down first. And then I wrote things around it, okay, to kind of help me achieve that goal of moving better. And what does that actually look like? So for me, that actually looks like um, squatting without squat shoes on, right? So how am I going to do that then? Well, I need to fix my ankle dorsiflexion. So then there's tests I can do to measure how much ankle dorsiflexion I have right now or lack of. Um, and I can measure progress. 
and that's gonna help me squat better. Um, let's see, increased thoracic extension ability, right? That carries over to so many things. Overhead pressing, squatting, just a whole bunch of things. Um, back to doing my pull-ups, right? That's, to me, that's moving better because again, I'm gonna be able to, to um, do monkey bars more efficiently and that is all like a carryover essentially. Um, and it's just purely ego. Ego, I used to be able to do all of the pull-ups in every which way and now I can only do like the easy pull-ups. So I gotta work on that. Um, let's see, work on my hip mobility as well. Cause again, that's gonna help me move and get into better positions more easily. Um, and get stronger hamstrings cause that's gonna protect my knee. That was super wonky when I was running a lot, um, when I was training for my triathlon and that's still never really been fully the same. Like some of my movement patterns I can tell are just a little bit off. So those are things I wanna do. And then, you know, I break it down like how I'm gonna do each thing, the things that I can measure to make sure I'm making progress. Um, then I come up to a game plan, like how much can I actually commit to spending time training this way, right? Like, yeah, I would love to train like six days a week, but there's no way I can commit like four days and that's fine. So. Don't try to like shoot yourself in the foot basically by over committing and overshooting because you're excited. Really sit down and analyze like what have you been doing this far and then start from there because you don't wanna just jump in from zero to 100 because then you can't, once you plateau, how do you progress from there? And plus you're gonna set yourself up for more injuries. So that is my little take on goal setting if you can't pick anything specific start like broad and narrow it down from there but a lot of people I know can set specific goals um for example if you do want to lose like 20 pounds then you know you need to come up with a game plan a realistic they have to be realistic oh yeah so that brings me to the next point I remember in undergrad there was um an acronym I think it was SMART yeah for goal setting and we learned about it, like an undergrad and it's like Specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, maybe? I can't remember if I'm wrong, someone correct me. And T is time, I think. So you have to be able to like set, set a time basically for it. Um, so again, most people can set super specific goals. Sometimes I have to work backward, especially when I'm working on something like move better. I've never set a goal like that ever in my life normally it's like a weight goal like a like um increase my bench by xyz or a weight loss or a macro increase like a goal like that so this is different so i had had to work backwards so it kind of made me think about now i understand more of where my clients are coming from when sometimes they don't have super specific goals so i hope this was helpful not more confusing because i kind of get on rants and tangents but if you have any questions or if you need any help with anything, let me know. Just private message me um, or comment. And yeah, I think I, I think that's it. I really need to start writing things down of what I want to talk about on these videos. I was never good at that because I know I had more. That's okay. They'll come to me probably at like 2 a.m. when I'm sleeping. I remembered one other thing I wanted to talk about. Um, when you're, if you do not have a coach and you're making your own programming, specifically for that goal, once you make that program and you've spent time and given it thought, don't just not do it after a week because you don't think it's working. Because how many people have done that? Guilty, guilty. That's why it's so hard sometimes doing your own programming um, or your own diet or whatever. Coaches need coaches, right? Sometimes we get in our own head and we overanalyze everything and we see something else that's new or cool or we learn something else at a seminar and then we just wanna change all of the things. Don't do that. However, if you are super like squirrel and you do feel like you need to change things all the time, at least stick, like for example, lifting goal, at least stick to your main lifts. Like be consistent with that. And then if you need to change your accessory movements, every couple weeks or whatever then just then do that 
that is fine. Just stick with your main, main lifts, main things that are going to get you to your goal. Um, that's something else I want to talk about because I've done that so many times. I think I've redesigned my own program 20,000 different times because again, you tend to overthink it when it's yourself and you just, plus like if you're always learning and you're in seminars or CEUs or whatever, your brain is just like constant overdrive. So that was my other thing. Stick to something, commit and just do it. Yeah. Happy goal setting and achieving everyone. Thanks for watching again. Hopefully that I don't have to come back on here because there's something else. <laughs> Anyways.